Sending DocuSign envelopes in bulk means that you're sending a separate document to each person from a list of people. All these people will receive their own unique copy of the document. In this video, you'll learn about the two ways that you can do a bulk send with DocuSign. So let's say that I'm the HR of a private school and I need to collect signatures on these employment agreements. And I want to add their name, address and compensation on each document for each signer. So instead of preparing each contract separately in Word, saving my documents as PDFs and then uploading them one by one in DocuSign, I can use the bulk send feature to add the specific data for each staff member inside of my document directly into DocuSign. Think of this as a mail merge. And so there's two ways that you can do this. The first way consists of manually preparing your data into a CSV format. And it's supposed to be quick, but the reality is that it's very easy to make a mistake and to have the wrong data end up in the wrong document and send it to the wrong person. Because you basically need to take your information, your data from wherever you have it and paste it into a CSV and then upload the CSV into DocuSign. That's, it works, but in my opinion, it's not a great idea in 2022. The second option is to connect your DocuSign account directly to your database so that you don't need to copy paste. That pretty much eliminates the risk of making um, errors. This option also gives you access to a dashboard where you can track this, the signature status for each person without even having to log in to your DocuSign account so you can do everything from your database. And also you rename and uh, save your documents automatically in your Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox. So it saves you a ton of time. It doesn't just help with the sending process, but with all the other processes um, that are part of your um, document workflow. So if you're interested in learning how this automation can help you save time, just make sure that you watch the video until the end. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solusign Consulting, where we help companies automate sales and onboarding uh, workflows. If you need help with your DocuSend bulk send, a template, an integration, you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy call with me. But for now, let's just proceed with the topic of this video. Let me walk you through the two options you can follow to do your bulk send so you can choose which is the best for you. The very first thing we need to do is to prepare our template. So if you haven't watched my videos on how to build a template and you're not sure what you're doing with templates yet, I really recommend you start by watching this video now. It's popping up on the screen. Inside of your template, what you want to do is to make sure that you gave a meaningful name to your recipients. So I call the staff who's supposed to be signing the document, I mean the first signer, the new hire. So that's the staff member starting at the school in my example. Once I've made sure that I gave a, a meaningful um, a role name to my um, recipients, I want to go inside of my um, template and check my fields. So I want to do the same thing with my fields. I want to make sure I gave a meaningful name to all my fields because otherwise, how am I going to tell DocuSign where I want my fields to go to? So to rename your field, you click on one of your fields and you go to data label and this is where you give the name of that field. So this one is address line one, this is address line two or city, state and zip. Now let me show you how to do a quick and dirty bulk send. So from within your template, I'm going to close that template and I'm going to go to use Depending on what um, interface your account is set up with, mine is an old interface, but so you might not have the advanced edit. If you have the newer interface, then it's just going to say edit. So it's the same thing. Just click on whichever you have. And then you want to go to this little eye. Once you're here, you can download the CSV uh, template a sample from DocuSign. So if you click on that little eye and download um, the CSV, each row in your CSV is going to contain the data for one um, envelope. Let me just show you the one that I've prepared. So my first column is for the recipient name. That's why you can see the name of other signers in there. And then the second column is for the email address and the rest of the columns are for the field inside of my DocuSign document template. So you can see that I have people's addresses, salaries and um, names, of course. And um, all this data is going to help me generate the documents uh, inside of DocuSign directly without having to do it in Word. You also want to make sure that your headers always match exactly the name of the field in your DocuSign template or again, the data is not gonna go where it needs to go to. So once you have your CSV populated with all your data, you just need to go back to your DocuSign template and import that list. So the way you do it is you click on import a bulk list and then you just select 
your CSV. Here you get a chance to review the data one last time, but you won't get a preview of each of your documents the same way you would if you generate a mail merge in Word. So what I suggest that you do is that you make some tests with some dummy data. So you send yourself documents before just to make sure that the data in your Excel cells are mapped to the right field inside of your DocuSign document. And when you're done, you click on finish import. DocuSign is going to start creating all the documents in the background. And once you're ready, you click on send. And that's it. So now if you want to use my CSV template, the one that I just showed you before, you can download it using the link in the description of this video. But if you know that you're going to need to do bulk sends again in the future, I will go definitely with a second option that I'm going to show you now. If you're a serious business, um, you should invest the time in setting up automations. For the second option, we're going to need to use something called Zapier. Why do we need to use Zapier? It's because it will help us send envelopes from within our favorite apps. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how to do it with Google Sheet, but that could definitely work with your CRM. It could work with Airtable. It could work with anything that you have, as long as it's a cloud app, of course. So let's imagine for a second that this spreadsheet here is where I keep a track of all my staff data. Once I'm ready to send my DocuSign contract, I already, since I already have all my data in my database, I don't wanna have to log into DocuSign. I don't wanna do a bulk CSV. I don't wanna have to do anything. I just wanna click on send. And so this is what it allows you to do. Now, let me just populate that line with some data to show you how easy it is to trigger um, envelopes from the database. So I just need to go to my dropdown and click on send. That's it. There's nothing else for me to do. And I've just received the DocuSign envelope, so I'm going to open it. And before I sign it, let me just show you what happened in the Google Sheet. So we have our um, status that was changed to sent, and we also have the date it was sent and the, the, the link to our envelope. So if I click on the link to the envelope, I'm taken to the page where I can actually make a correction. So if actually I made a mistake in the template, I've put the wrong email for myself. So I actually had to go and correct it. So super easy for me, super handy, having the ability to correct it, the, the envelope from within my, my tracker. So now that I've just signed the document as the CFO or HR manager, however you want to call them, um, a few things should have happened in my, um, in my Google Sheet. So the first thing you can see is that the status has changed to completed. And then um, I also have the link to the completed file. So if I click here and hover over, I can actually see my um, doc directly. And if I go inside of my signed contract folder in my Google Drive, I can see that I've got a, um, a folder created with my name and the PDF that was just completed and it was also renamed. So that's pretty cool. This is how you save a ton of time and avoid to make a lot of errors with the bulk send manual CSV. I've just showed you this with Google Sheets, but you can do this with any other uh, cloud-based app uh, of your choice. Now let's talk about how you can set this up. So for this automation to work, you're going to need to use Zapier. You're gonna to need to create two automations, one to send the contract uh, to DocuSign and one to save the contract uh, in Google Drive and update a bunch of stuff as well. And if you want to import my zaps, so the ones that I'm showing you now directly into your Zapier account, even if you don't have an account, you can just click on the link below to download uh, my uh, zaps so that you don't need to create them from scratch. You can just edit mine. So the first automation will start with a trigger being Google Sheets. So when a new row in our Google Sheet uh, is um, uh, detected by Zapier, then um, we are going to uh, create a signature request in DocuSign. And so in DocuSign, we are just mapping the um, DocuSign fields, which are all those fields you can see here with the fields of our uh, Google, Google Sheet. And so we just need to make sure that, you know, the right Google Sheet fields are going to the right field in a DocuSign template. But once you've set, that, set this up once, you never need to do it again. That's the beauty of it. So um, once this is done, we are going to extract the sent date so that we can update our tracker with a set sent date. Then the second automation is going to look for completed envelope uh, from DocuSign. So this time, DocuSign is the trigger, not Google Sheets. Zapier is going to look for those completed envelopes and then it's going to extract the uh, name of the, of the uh, signer so that it knows actually which row it should update. And then it's going to create the folder and upload the completed PDF. We can also uh, specify the file names, which means you never need to spend time renaming your files manually. This is amazing. Honestly, this is a super light version demo of what DocuSign is capable of once you integrate it with your, with your systems. The reality is that DocuSign alone is not enough. Yes, it's helped you time because you don't have to chase people 
and it's easier for them to get you the documents back. But just using DocuSign alone is not enough. You need to integrate DocuSign into your core systems. Otherwise, you're doing everything manually and that defeats the purpose of using DocuSign in the first place. So if you need the help of a team to help you set this up, don't hesitate. Just reach out to me, book a call with me, send me an email, send me a bird, send me a DocuSign, whatever you want, or just comment below and it'll be my pleasure to help you. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.